What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Suntel has posted a video about three hours ago. 3.4 thousand views, 100 likes. That's substantially lower than normal. So this is entitled, The Best Sushi Mukbang I Ever Had. I actually read that inverted, but you get the idea. We have the original introduction playing. And I wonder if there is no green screen. Oh my goodness. Why does she have three separate containers? So she's saying she hasn't had sushi in a long time. I'm already taken back by there's three plates. And she's even saying this is a lot. She's saying this is a combo? A combo for what? I don't think this was intended to all be eight by one person. So she's opened another container. She is blending in with the sofa in both size and color, which is concerning. So is the diet food a thing of the past? Did we get a what I ate today? We never got a what I ate today for yesterday, right? I'll have to check. I, I normally don't check while I'm doing a video, but I'll check when I'm done. And we'll check together. It'll be you and me. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll get it figured out, I promise. I know she did a live that I didn't cover, but regardless. So she's got some chopsticks and some, what is this, soy sauce? So what is there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... There, there has to at least be 18 pieces of sushi here. That's a, that's a lot of sushi. And it has apparently a, a very similar cream-based sauce. Oddly enough, she has nothing to drink. So she's pouring sour sauce over everything. She said this is not a raw sushi. So the cat is not bothering her because the, the fish is not raw. So again, just, I mean, I guess for sushi, it looks good. It's, it's uniform, which is the trademark of sushi. Everything looks the same. Massive edit as we pour our third soy sauce on. And I can only imagine this is going to create quite the retention of water. All right, Chantel, get it out. Let's go. We're two minutes and 35 seconds in. We're complaining about how tired we are. Well, you're tired because look at what you're doing to your body. You're providing it horrible nutrition as you feverishly pour tempura to make it crunchy. That's why you're tired. You're tired because you're not nourishing yourself properly. You're giving your body tons of food to eat, which it has to digest. So even though you might not feel it, your body, your organs, your digestive system feels it. So, so much of your energy is absorbed by your eating. What, what she needs, in all sincerity, is some type of distraction, some type of hobby, something within her day to remove her mind from seeking out food so it's ironic she just talked about this you know she just said you know am i eating because i'm hungry or i'm eating because i have a craving and when you're eating sushi like this as i get an advertisement it's showing me that you're eating for the joy of eating i'm bored what do i want to eat let me give in to that craving and that's where we are we're not eating for the nutrition value of eating. And when there's three full plates in front of us, that should also lend itself to just common sense of what's happening here. So she just took her first bite. We're roughly four minutes in. She is going to go through each of these. And she says this makes her mouth happy. Uh, again, I thought we were going to remove that ideology with the... Another massive edit. I thought we were going to remove that mindset altogether of, you know, eating makes me happy. Water fast, day negative 18. She's chewing this one more than I've seen her chew anything in the past few months. 
She's talking about how good it is. It, it's ironic to me that she projects that, like, takeout food isn't good. You know, this food is designed. Every perspective. Packaging, aesthetics, visuals. It's designed to look good. It's designed to entice you. They want you to order there. So it's it's not some rare feat that it tastes good. It's normal. What I'm wondering is if we love, you know, popcorn so much, if we love potatoes so much, if we have all these foods that she talks about providing the ultimate in satiation and satisfaction, why are we getting foods that we're not accustomed to? You know, are we are we going outside of our diet here? And I know she's not on a diet, but she's had diet meals ordered. So it's very odd to me that we're supplementing, as she calls it, her diet food with all of these additional meals. Now, she's she's saying she's tired because they just got home, and that's why she didn't cook. Then, you know, Chantal, you, you have foods that are microwavable. You know, you have fries in the air, in, in the in the freezer that you showed us that are supposed to go in the air fryer. Would would that have been too difficult to open an air fryer, pour some fries in? It would have been a lot less expensive. She's talking about how just shopping. She's eating, and I I can't understand why she doesn't say a thought and then eat and then say another thought. So she's breaking this up of, you know, walking around and being in a large area. Here she says, you know, it's getting challenging. Chantel, these are massive, massive red flags while you just shove sushi in your face. When you're sitting here acknowledging, hey, walking around, moving is becoming a challenge. I hope you understand, like, that's how being unable to get out of bed starts. Remember just a couple weeks ago when you couldn't get out of the car and you were like, I'm just going to have Sala shop while I sit in the air conditioning? So, you know, I'm glad that you're getting out and moving around, but you have to see these red flags for what they are and not come home. That She does have water, at least, and not sit in front of. I, I'm going to say this with all due respect, what had to have been, you know, a family combo. Like, there's no way that this wasn't designed for a family. She's talking about the store they went to and they were selling shirts. And she's proud that these shirts fit her. So clearly they had to go out and, and find something for her to wear. Because as I mentioned in the prior video, the, the abayas are getting way too tight. So she clearly has one of these on now. She says this is a shirt, but it looks more like a, a gown. I can only... Im I can only imagine was is this a shirt like designed for a man? I don't know. I'm not I'm not I, I mean that in all due respect to their culture. I, I don't I don't follow their culture. I don't understand their attire. I'm not gonna confess that I do. But this doesn't look like an abaya. This this looks like a large men's shirt almost. Because she's had to kind of offset her face covering with it. So did she just buy a large men's shirt that she's wearing and is that why it's lower in the front than it is the back because most men's clothing is lower in the front she's just continuing to pound away on this i have another ad so at least she's getting ad revenue but at the same time at what cost She's again just reiterating how good this is. I mean, are we celebrating finding clothes that fit by eating this? She's just chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing. I, I don't really think watching this, she's ready to make any real change. I mean, it takes her, you know, 15 minutes to get out of story because she just won't stop eating.
She's saying, you know, by the time she gets to the car, she's sweaty, she's flushed, she's ready to pass out from walking, from just going into a store to find clothing. Did I just get another commercial? And these are unskippable ads. This is going to make this video, like, excessively long. I'm at the nine-minute mark. She's literally a plate. If you combine them, she's two plates down. She's talking about how she has to remember the moments of exhaustion. When she gets an urge to eat, like, I guess like this? I mean, if this isn't bed, you know, what is? I, I guess to a degree, she's talked about how, you know, bed happens without anyone there, why Sal is asleep. She also said that sushi is not filling. So you intentionally ordered something you know is not filling at a time you were prioritizing high-volume, low-calorie meals. And you're telling me that you're ready to make a change. There's no way. It, 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 there's no way. You're, you can't go from telling us, Oh, popcorn, high in fiber, I can eat large amounts and be okay, to literally two days later saying, I'm going to eat food that I don't find filling intentionally as a reward for purchasing men's shirts. Part, part of me wonders if Salah understands fully what he got himself into. Regardless of how you feel about the relationship they have, I think at some level you would have to assume he felt, hey, I, I can probably make progress or make change or help this person. And at this point, we're seeing someone that's beyond that. Right? There's no helping someone like this. You know, when you can't tell a story based on your desire to eat, when you're upset about chopsticks not allowing you to shovel in food. That's a real concern that's way more than a book is going to fix. You know, you can read about this, you can project about this all you want, but there's a lot more going on here. And clearly she hasn't been able to get this improved on her own. Because even outside of her own devices, you know, as I've said, when, when we were going through the 2 a.m. runs and orders and trips and eating in the hotel parking lots, you know, she was at her own mercy in those situations. Now, now that she's not, she's still finding ways to do this. You know, she mentioned the other day, I think all the, the cheese puffs were gone. And she just, you know, rolls her eyes in the back of her head, sits down the chopsticks. She's going to leave these two pieces? She's dusting off her shirt. There's no way she just leaves these two pieces. I mean, why bother? My elbow, you can probably hear it, is just constantly popping. Broke my arm years ago, and every time my elbow just pops all the time. She's talking about how she needs rest. What, what else do you do in your day, Chantal? Eat, sleep, and then if you have to take a normal errand, right? A normal errand. Going out to get clothes is a normal errand. It's not like you're doing something extravagant. It's not like this was a full day. She's surprised that the shirt is a 3X, but but who is it a 3X intended for? Is it a 3X like at a, a big and tall? Was it a 3X for a man? Give us some perspective. You know, this this kind of goes back to, to Amber Lynn, you know, in the, this is a size six. Okay, but in, in what department? In what perspective? Because not all 3Xs are the same. Not all 2Xs are the same. You know, shoes would be a great example. You wear a size 11, okay? Is that a size 11 for a child, for a toddler, for an adult? Because those are vastly different sizes. Still just trucking through this sushi. And she just says, it depends on where you buy the brand, but, you know, clearly she's going to champion this 3X. As Is this pro progress? Is this, she's got it all over her. 
Remember when they went to buy a shopping and, and she was, you know, concerned that they didn't have any at a higher size and what she was going to do and it was going to be okay because she was going to lose weight. And then now here we are. I, I mean, how two months removed, three months removed. And again, she says, you know, sushi isn't that filling. It's weird. Then don't eat it, Chantal. You know, she's like, it looks like a lot of food. It is a lot of food. It's just not filling me up. Now she's saying, you know, there was another shirt there that was a 3X that I tried on that didn't fit. So clearly she's come to terms with, well, this one brand, I can wear it. So that's what I'll, that's what I'll cling to. Literally and figuratively. I'll cling to this 3X. And she said her sushi craving has been depleted. I would hope so. You, you literally ate a meal intended for a family. It's sad. Didn't save anything for Salah. Oh, her hand in this image. It, it looks like... Her hand looks like a rabbit. You know, she's saying, I can really shove this food down. So the meal kits, you know, they don't work for me because it's such a small amount of food. So now I think she's to that point where she's rambling and dragging it out, unaware of how long the video is. She's tapped out. She edits. And she's done. All right. So, wow. That was unenjoyable. And I see now why the, the views were so, uh, excuse me, the likes were so low. So I just went back and looked. We've got the I have bed four days ago, the what I ate in bed recovery, the neutralizing food, and then the best sushi I ever had. So th there's no... And then I went back in the lives, you know, a good wholesome bees, Eid, the hypocrisy, fitting, and then high beezers. Yeah, there's, there's, there's absolutely no what I ate in a day since two days ago, which essentially by timestamp would be three days. So clearly we can't keep track of anything at this point. But I digress. She will be eating again, I'm sure. Whether we see the whole video or not of her eating, who knows? I, this is now two days without having any of the diet food other than the live be shown. So clearly the accountability is not there. Uh, and that's why, you know, she's proudly projecting her 3X shirt in a thumbnail. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.